this video, we're going to look at flex layout and actually trying to style our solution that we have right now so that it ends up looking like this. Don't worry, we'll go back to the old solution in a second. I just want to show you the end result before we actually revert everything. Now I faced one very big problem in my case, and that is a problem with the router outlet. So I just want to mention this and we'll get back to it later. I need to have something like this in order for the flex layout to work properly in my current setup. There might be better solutions out there. This is a pretty old one, but I found this and it actually solved my problems. So as we move forward, I'll add this code and I'll try and explain to you guys why I needed to add it. Sweet. Let's start by actually removing everything in our code base right now, just doing a checkout. So I'll do a git, sorry, I'll do a rollback. There we go, everything is cleaned, good. So first of all, what I wanna do is, I wanna wrap this guy so that we start using the flex layout, right? So the first thing I'm doing is I'm going to add a specific layout, and in my case, since I'm going to add these as a column, it's going to be first the links, right? And then we are going to add the route outlet. I'm going to start by putting this inside a column. And again, I'm thinking like this, these guys are going to be one line, and then the next line is going to be this guy. So since these guys are going to be one line, I'm going to make a new div right here to explain that these guys should be of the flex layout row. It's going to be a single line, and there I'm going to put in these two guys right here. There we go, so now we have the links available. I'll just remove these minuses, they're just hideous. The other thing I'll do right here is I want to kind of, let me actually show you this now. So you can see these guys are just aligned completely close to each other. So I'm going to kind of add a little gap. Luckily, FX layout actually has something where you can say layout gap, and you can just put in a number of pixels that you wanna have between your different items inside this container. And there we go, now there's a small gap. Happy days. Good, so that was the easy part. So now that this is complete for now, we'll come back to this in a second. I'm going to go to the chat component and start considering how I'll make the layout I want. In my case, I want, I had like a welcome in the top and then this below. So I'm going to need a column layout again because I'm going to need something in the top of the page. So let's do a layout of column. And then I'm going to have a second row right below it, if we're talking like the grid layout, right? Another thing I want to happen is that this should take all available space. So I'll do an FX flex right here, because that's pretty much, you can put in specific percentages. You could say, I wanna take 100%. You can also say, I wanna take 100 and that'll be 100%. Or you can actually just say FX flex, meaning I wanna grab all the space available in the current height. The final thing I wanna do right here is I wanna actually explain that everything that gets into this is going to be aligned. So we have some alignment components right here. We have something called flex align. That's not what we're looking for. We're looking for layout align right here. Flex align is more for individual components where this is going to be for the entire, um, the things inside the container. And here we're going to say that everything that gets into this is going to be centered both vertically and horizontally. So center, center. Sweet, I think it's actually horizontally and vertically just to be more precise. Good. So let's just try and put everything in here and see if it's actually centered now. There we go. And we're going to use the if statement again up here as well. There we go. We're going to bring in some cards and something like that to make it prettier. So with this code in place, let's see if we're actually centered now. Okay, it seems we are centered horizontally, but not vertically. Uh, let's notice right here, there's something wrong because I'm not grabbing all the available space. That might be the problem actually. Let's try and see how far up the chain that's a problem. It seems that all the way all the way up, we have that problem. So we need to kind of explain to this level at least that we wanna grab all available space. Now luckily we do that very simply, going back to the app component HTML and saying FX fill like this, that's actually going to grab all available space. So let's try now, you see now I get all the space, but still we're not centered vertically. Hmm, why not? Let's try and go further down the chain. That's not the problem, here's the app chat. Oh, the app chat doesn't take up all the space. Now here's the problem, I cannot get to this guy very easily. I can get to this guy, let me actually show you. It's inside this guy right here, and if I go down, this is actually the one I'm looking at right there, the FX layout column, FX flex, center center. Again, if you notice, all that is available here in this one, but I need to get to this one. Now this is where I found the hack. This is where I found a way to do it pretty easily in my mind. Step one is we're going to copy this into our style sheet, and that's actually then going to be used as a class in our route outlet. And then we actually open up for the opportunity or the possibility to use full layout always inside our different components. Let's try and do that. Step one, I'm going to go to the style right here. Boom, I'm going to paste this in. So now we have the route outlet. And if we have a class on that called router flex, 
we'll actually explain that we want to grab full space. Let's go to the app component. And in the route outlet, we're going to add a class now. There we go. And there we're going to put out this router flex. Let's see if that helped us. We are completely centered. Happy days. So now that this is actually centered as we want, and again, there is a route outlet issue right here. You can go and read about it if you want to. Um, but it seems that it's still a problem. In my mind, at least, I couldn't find a better solution than this one. But if you don't have the problem, don't worry about it. But this is what I saw in my solution right here. So again, it seems that we're centered now. And I think we're going to end the video right here. And next lesson, we're going to try and extend this and add some cards. So right now, it's just all about trying to center this outlet right here. So that's it. See you next time. Bye.